Hi, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and today I want to talk to you about Google Plus Local, which used to be Google Places and Google Local Business Center before that. Uh, but in reality, what Google Plus Local is, as you can see here, Google Plus page, it's these seven results that are out here in the middle of the um, when you do a search in Google. So I've put in Flores Brisbane, and per my eye tracking study in previous videos, the first three results are Google Ads. These are Google AdWords. And then there are two uh, SEO, search engine optimized listings, and then these seven Google Places listings, or Google Plus Local, sorry. Now, Google Plus Local is very, very important because it powers not only the results that you're seeing on this desktop search, but it also powers the results that you will get on any uh, Google-powered Android phone when you're doing search results come from Google Plus Local, also on Google Earth and on Google Maps. Um, so there you have it. We'll take just a quick look at one of these pages. They haven't changed much from Google Places. You still get your images across the top. You get your street view here. You get maps. You get directions. All of that's available and reviews with the news guide system as well. So there's lots of stuff here. So how do you claim that listing? How do you optimize it for search? Well, you can either go here to google.com stroke places stroke and hit get started now. That's one way, although the way I prefer is to put in your business name, and in my case, I put in Aussie Web and my street address, and sure enough, here it is. It'll come up like this. It'll show you the push pin. I click on Aussie Web. It shows up here. I go to get more information or look at the reviews, and here's my listing, and you can see I've got photographs. It uh, doesn't have street view for mine, uh, but I can scroll down here and click on Manage This Page. Now, be very careful here. Whatever account you use to claim your listing in Google Plus Local, and it should be a Gmail account preferably, can never be transferred. So if it's your own personal address, you can't have anybody else manage your site unless you're willing to give them your, uh, your email address and your password. If it's an employee and they leave, you've got to kill your listing and start over from scratch. If it's a third party and they've done it, they're just they're blackmailing you because you can never leave them if they do that. So um, I'll log into my account manage my page and this is the dashboard that you see and it shows you traffic to my page over the last 30 days and people have clicked through but what's important here is you can see down here your business info and mine says a hundred percent complete so I've done a pretty good job on on-site search engine optimization on my page so let's go take a look at it so we come over here and it, the bottom line is you want to put as much information as you can on this page so I've got, uh, obviously, my street address and everything else. I've got email. I've got a web. I've got a description. I've got business categories. I've specified locations throughout Australia that I serve. If you operate my mobile service, you can suppress your address from not showing up, but you do have to put it in. But you can say, don't show it on the maps listing. I've got my hours of operations here. I've got payment types that I take. I've uploaded five. Here it shows you five of ten images. And I put up two of my available five videos as well. And I've added extra stuff, like uh, that there's parking available and, and when the business was established. So Google thinks this is a 100% uh, complete listing, which is just fantastic. But what else can you do um, to get your listings in that uh, first page of Google search results. And remember, these are for local businesses. Google is expecting that you service a local area uh, and that you, in most cases, trade out of a physical location. It doesn't have to be. Uh, so, but if, so if you're a pure internet player, it won't help you much. But once you uh, claim your listing, obviously you can see here that uh, people that have got reviews are here. So having reviews is a good thing. Uh, you can do some other citations. Make sure that your address is consistent. So in my case, 19 Nariel Street is my uh, uh, address, and I make sure that it's on my website property, so when Google sees them linked, they see it's the same address. So it is possible to optimize the, your place's listing so that you get all this nice free traffic, one of only three ways to be found on the front page of Google. Um, if you'd like to talk about that, just fill out the form on the right, or give us a ring on our 1-300 number, and we'd be happy to talk to you. Um, thanks for your time. I hope you found this useful. Welcome to Google Plus Local. It keeps changing. This is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru.